before this, but we'll just ignore all that. Mm. So can you tell us what sorts of things you've been doing that you like to do? That I like to do? Yeah. Um, that kind of thing. Well, I've been um, teaching some really nice kids. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's been fun. Okay. It's been fun? Yeah. yeah. And fun is something you appreciate, yeah? Yes. Mm. Yeah. Things um, go better when you're having fun. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. And it's been rewarding. Oh, okay. And mm, that's um, always nice. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So that's that's been good. Okay. All right. And what can we talk about that would be helpful to you? <sighs> My level of anxiety. Oh, okay. <coughs> so if you didn't feel anxious, would you? How would you rather feel? Just a um, bit less anxious, or a bit more something else? One. Um, just sublime contentment would be enough. Sublime contentment, just, <laughs> just that? Oh, okay, so you don't want much, just that? Oh, well, we, we can do that easily and then we can move on to something substantial. Right? <coughs> so if we couldn't get to sublime contentment, what, what would you settle for? Um, I just, um, I guess just um, being able to, when I get anxious, to reflect on, I don't really need to be this anxious. And then if you did that and you were less anxious, what would, what would be different? What would you notice? Um, I'd be more inclined to have more fun. Oh, okay. Mm. Hmm. So if you had the choice between anxiety and fun? i choose oh, fun. okay. It wouldn't <laughs> be a difficult decision. No. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sometimes we don't see that option, so it's hard to take it. And to be able to see that option might be useful. So, uh, anything else that you might want to speak about before <coughs> you and, um, before you go into hypnosis more? About what I might be anxious about? No, I don't know. It's just anything else that you might say. I'm, I'm, you've told me enough for me to start, but I'm wondering oh, okay. whether there's something else that you might want to say. Um, Oh, there's only. Well, this isn't. I don't know if I'm introducing a new problem, <laughs> mm -hmm. but um, I need some motivation. So I'm, I'm feeling. Um, I'm not structuring my time very well at the moment. Are you? Okay. All right. So, as you are sitting as you are and looking, that's it. Perhaps you could just continue to do that. And as you are looking, the way you are, and as you are. There may be something about that experience that you can allow yourself to become just that little bit more absorbed in. And that's it. You've already closed your eyes. And as you allow that experience of becoming even more absorbed to continue, you can continue in your way, allowing this experience to be an experience that you can touch on some uh, aspect of your learning. And you could, in this experience, allow yourself to enjoy this, to even have some fun in this experience. Or I guess it would be possible, if you wanted, to feel anxious, thinking about what might go wrong, what people might see, or what, something, I don't know. You could take that if you wanted. Or perhaps you could just let yourself enjoy this experience and find it in some way satisfying, in some way, fun. Because when you first started teaching, a person can stand up in front of a class and feel very anxious, very scared, very worried. And somehow, as that teaching progresses, that anxiety begins to settle, begins to lessen, 
begins to diminish. And sometimes it diminishes rapidly, sometimes gradually, sometimes intermittently. And at just what point you learned to have fun teaching. Just at what point you learn to have that sense of satisfaction teaching. Probably something less than sublime, but nevertheless, satisfaction and the fun can be there. And I'm trying to think of a client who was anxious and decided to have fun instead. And the only person I can think of is an old friend who had to uh, give a talk at a parent teacher's. And she was very nervous and very anxious about having to talk in front of a group of parents. And in the experience, in our conversation, she became very interested to enjoy the experience of looking forward as she was talking, to looking at the faces of the people and seeing who was going to be trouble, who was going to be interesting, who was going to ask curly questions, who was going to start to go to sleep, who was going to start to wake up. And she had a very nice time that evening, really enjoyed the experience. She had some fun. So instead of being anxious talking to them, she had fun looking at their faces and reported that the experience was satisfying and hope that she'd have the opportunity to do the same the next year. And I'm wondering, if you were to think of something else that you like doing other than teaching, what that might be that you could say, what else have you been doing that you like? Because I'm wanting to generate a, a <coughs> metaphor for you that's not related to anything clinical. Um, well, I went and saw some friends saw some performing friends? music last night. What sort of music? Um, Jewish, uh, what's it called? A something music. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the piano accordion and okay. the fiddle. And okay. And that was enjoyable? Yeah, it was, it was, was fun. fun. Yeah, it was fun. Were you dancing? No. Listening? Yeah. Singing? No, clapping. Clapping. <laughs> okay. So you're, you're, you're enjoying it? Yeah. Okay. And drinking vodka. Huh? Drinking vodka. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we know why you confused the dates. <laughs> <laughs> you drink enough vodka, anyone will get confused. <laughs> so, when you think about how that experience was last night, just before you started clapping before you joined in, before that fun really started. If you look back, was there any way that you could have felt anxious about being there? Like, was it the right place or was it the, the right time or were you the right person? Or? I suppose, yeah. You could have? If you gritted your teeth and clenched your fists or something, you could have... You could have got a drenched up some kind of anxiety. Absolutely, I can dredge okay. it up at the drop of a hat. Oh, okay, could you dredge some up now? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. You don't feel motivated no. enough? No. <laughs> it's good to lack motivation sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> I want to get anxious, but oh, I don't know, I'm just too disorganised. I can't, don't have the motivation to do that. <laughs> Isn't that funny to think that that's a possibility? <laughs> yes, couldn't be bothered. So last night you could have managed to dredge up some anxiety, but instead of that you just had some fun. Mm. And you enjoyed the music and joining in with your friends and clapping. And that was fun. Yeah? Mm. Now I wonder if you could memorise that feeling. It's not too far away. And uh, even through the vodka haze and the hangover, <laughs> there may be some enough of that memory to... Looks like there's a pretty good memory of how that felt. 
Yeah? And I wonder how much motivation it would take for you to feel that sense of fun. I wonder if you realise just how difficult it would be for you to try not to enjoy yourself in a situation like that. We probably all know people who could manage to make the tremendous effort to not have fun in such a situation. But it could be an effort. And I wonder if you could let yourself imagine some time in the little near distant future something that's going to happen that you have the potential, the choice to feel anxious. Can you think of something later today or the next few days where you could get anxious? Oh yeah. Yeah? Now, if you were to imagine that as you're coming into this, this situation, there's the potential to feel anxious, and there's also the potential to have fun. And I just had an image of you going into that situation and suddenly breaking out into song, singing Ava Nagela or something, and instead of, instead of Ava getting anxious. Huh? Ava Nagila. Ava Nagila. Okay. <laughs> All right. So what? Whatever the. But you could. The, that's a good feeling, eh? Just imagine dancing in and clapping as you went into that situation. I mean, you wouldn't do that. No, I, I, I'm afraid it might feel like hysteria. <laughs> yes, I wouldn't do that. But it might be fun to think of doing it. A woman told me that she was very anxious about going to the dentist because she felt trapped. She was lying there with stuff coming out of her mouth and people were <coughs> leaning on her and whatever, and she was like there was no way out. And I told her that she could, if she wanted, any time, just fling her arms in the air and all of the dental instruments would go flying and the dentist would be very upset. She thought that was pretty neat. <laughs> now when she went to the dentist, she could leave her arms still, but she knew that any time she wanted, she could just move her arms and disrupt things totally. <laughs> and that the idea of doing that was sufficiently fun for her so that she didn't have to feel anxious. Does that make sense when I say that? Mm. So in telling you that story, I'm wanting to illustrate that at any point we can feel anxious, we can have fun, and once you know how to have fun, for her it was the thought of throwing her arms in the air, for you it might be the thought of clapping and, and breaking out into to a Hebrew song. Or it might be something else that you'd rather do, but you can have some fun. You don't have to tell other people, you can keep it secret. Although sometimes it's hard to keep a chuckle in, isn't it? You know, you get that feeling of fun starts to well up in your body and it's hard to contain it sometimes. Mm. So you might even need to be just a little bit anxious that too much fun might have been. <laughs> And I also wonder, and this is just something I'm wondering, if as you find yourself feeling more enjoyment and satisfaction, having more fun and less anxiety, if somehow as that happens there might be a, just a natural tendency for you to have more order, a greater clarity of what you're doing and what's to do. So that we're by just feeling, having more satisfaction and fun, it might be that much easier to do things and to see what there is to do. So that a natural order could just emerge, you could see it. And then act on it easily. I don't know whether that might be compounding the solution or bringing in an additional one, but they could be connected in some way. Do you think that's possible? To compound the solution? Yeah. That as yeah, you feel more fun and, and, and uh, satisfaction, so there may be more motivation and, and kind of order. They do mm. go together, I think. Yeah, there's not so much time wasted yeah. in anxiety. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, when I get the kind of a 
in a fluster, you know, Terry said, I'm like a chook with its head cut off, you know, I go around and around circles, I get, no, I get nowhere. And sometimes if I just sit and do nothing, then things settle on what to do and the motivation is just there. Now, you're very responsive to these ideas. It's easy for you to be in this experience. It's easy for you to have some fun. And whether you're aware of how or not, you are very good at learning. You've learned how to teach, you've learned how to have fun with you. <coughs> with those kids, in a way that perhaps might surprise some people. You've learned how to clap in time, you've learned how to have fun with your friends. You've learned a lot of things. And so learning to bring that sense of fun to this area can be just one more expression of that learning. It doesn't have to happen all at once. It can take its time. It can happen as it will. But it might be nice for you to watch the way that anxiety subsides and in a balanced, organised way that sense of fun and satisfaction just takes its place. You could find that there's just more of that around. Would that be agreeable? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, sure? <laughs> Why do you smile when you say that? Because How come you don't get anxious fun. and think maybe it won't happen? <laughs> How come you can have fun thinking that it might? <coughs> How do you do that? Well, I'm actually having fun listening to you having fun. Okay. <laughs> so you're not, you don't think I'm too anxious? <coughs> no. No. So if you were to train me how to feel anxious, what would I need to do now? I have to start feeling a bit sick in the gut. Sick in the gut? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What would I need to think? Oh, you'd have to have sort of recurrent neurotic thoughts. Well, what sort of neurotic? <laughs> you're being too technical here. What sort of thoughts? Um, oh, about the future. Things oh, yeah. About that things are going to go wrong or bad or bad yeah. things are going to yeah. yeah. So if I get a sick feeling in the stomach, I think <laughs> that things are going to go bad in the future. Mm. Mm -hmm. Would that do it? No, you'd have to have a little bit of bad temper as well. Oh, what sort of be, what, that it shouldn't be like that? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm not going to accept that the world is the way that it is. No. And I'm going to expect <laughs> that it's going to go bad. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, well, it's good to know how to do those things. Isn't it? <laughs> and how, you don't have any, need any instructions about how to have fun. That's natural for you. You just bring on the, the, uh, and the violins and the you know, the you know, accordions and the clapping and you're you're into it. Mm. Bring on the vodka and you're away. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, it's nice to know that you know how to do anxiety. It's nice to know that you know how to do fun and satisfaction. And it's particularly important to know that you have a choice. That at any moment you can go this way or that way up to you. Now I think it would be terrible if you had to always have fun. It would be terrible if you could never feel anxious. That would be terrible. Because anxiety is a legitimate emotion. Yeah? We all need to feel it from time to time. But perhaps it would be acceptable for you to feel just a bit more fun and less anxiety. Would that be agreeable? Mm. Okay. Was there anything else that you might want to experience? And I'm a bit worried about staying in this experience too long. That smile is kind of getting, you know, the wind might change and you might be stuck with it. I could Botox now. <laughs> anything else that you want, might want to have happen in this experience? Um, no, thank you. No? Yeah. So, how will you know how to? Just bring it to a natural, easy kind of completion so that you can feel satisfied. 
What's that fun that you had? You don't need to be in a hurry. You don't need to generate some motivation. Your eyes will open when they are ready. And it can be fun for you to not need to open your eyes and know that that will happen in its own good time. That's it. Just like that. Thanks for being willing to play. Thank you, that was fun. It was fun. <laughs> it was fun. And a person might expect to feel anxious sitting here in front of a group of people. Not oh, did I tell group. you, you know about um, The Truman Show? Did you see the film? Yeah. yeah. <coughs> well, that video camera. What, this is my life? <laughs> <laughs> Global television. <laughs> the whole world is watching. <laughs> so what's, what's, what's different now? I know you've added paranoia. But <laughs> <laughs> what's different now than when you sat in the chair? Um, I don't feel as tired. Okay. Yeah. More motivated. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. yeah. Mm. And uh, what about your anxiety? How anxious are you feeling? Um, not very. No? No, Just a still bit. there. Oh, yeah. good. Glad it hasn't <laughs> gone away totally yet. Hmm? Yeah. Uh, you know, nothing is worse than, than someone who's not anxious. <laughs> no, truly. Our eldest daughter, when, when I was uh, giving her, her driving lessons, she got in the car and she says, Oh, this is great. How fast can I go? Oh, okay. I got anxious. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't slightly. Scared the hell out of me. <laughs> yeah. So a bit of anxiety is all right. Healthy actually. Now, how can you? What? How you? How can you make use of this? What's? How can you apply this in you? It's all very well to feel fun here and motivated here and be <coughs> feel good here, but how can you take that into your life? Next time you have the possibility of feeling anxious, what can you do? Well, I could actually work instead of feeling anxious. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I, I'm sort of find work quite fun. Okay. So um, it's just that I have to do the hard bit before I get to the fun bit. Ah. So it's the hard bit I avoid, so I don't get to the okay. fun bit. Okay. Well, that might be the opportunity for you to do a bit of dancing and have a nagila, huh? Mm. The clapping. Mm. Not necessarily that bit of music, but you know. But I wouldn't necessarily recommend vodka. <laughs> that might make the hard work even harder. Yeah. Or vaguer, shall we say. It might be harder for other people. Uh, I do drink a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, how can you do that? How can you <coughs> make use of this? Well, I think if I don't feel anxious about the yeah. actual starting of it, yeah. then once well, I've started it, I okay. enjoy it. But so then if you don't feel anxious, how are, you, where, how are you going to feel? Um, I guess I'll feel good. How are you going to do that? What can you, what'll be helpful to remind you that you can feel good? Um. I guess I could put some music on, but I find it hard to concentrate with music. I oh think. well. If there's anxiety around and maybe. you find it hard to concentrate on the anxiety, that might be useful. Okay, so maybe yeah, maybe I'll put some music on and then once I feel good then I'll start. Okay. Maybe you can even dance and clap, you know? I could, yeah. Yeah. And Get then my family will feel anxious. <laughs> <laughs> well, why not share it around? Why should you have all the fun? You know? Goodness, you're a greedy person trying to keep all the anxiety to yourself. Spread it around. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, I'll do that. I'll put some music on before okay. I start. Okay. Now, uh, I wouldn't be so naive as to say, oh, that's fixed the anxiety. No. But it seems like that in that experience, you've got some options now. You've got some ways of having some influence over that. So that might allow you to feel more in control and more 
the clearer about what to do so that it's easier to do it. Have some more fun? Yeah. More satisfaction? And just acknowledging it, I suppose. Yeah. Then you can 